When you light a torch in dark, in which direction does the light travel? The light travels in a straight line. Now place an object in the path of light. What do you observe? We will observe a shadow of the object on the wall. As we all know, light travels in a straight line. If an object is placed in the path of light, it stops the rays from passing through it. Thus, a shadow of the object is formed behind it. The nature and size of the shadow depends upon two factors, the size of the object and source of light, the distance between the object and the source of light. Whenever something comes in the way of light, a shadow is formed. Do all things form a shadow? No. Let us find it out using the following objects. There are three types of objects. Opaque, translucent, transparent. An object through which light cannot pass is called an opaque object. For example, ball, wood, iron, etc. An object which allows only a part of the light to pass through it is called a translucent object. For example, greased paper, butter paper, etc. An object which allows the entire light to pass through it is called a transparent object. For example, glass, cellophane paper, water, etc. Since light cannot pass through an opaque object, our bodies also form shadows when light falls on us. Shadow of an opaque object is always formed on the side opposite to the source of light. Translucent and transparent objects do not form shadows as they allow the light to pass through them. The size and the direction of the shadow change with the distance of the source of light and the direction of the light. Take a lighted candle, a steel glass and place them as shown in the figure. Note the distance between the wall and the glass and measure the shadow. Now shift the glass and the candle away from the wall. The same glass forms a bigger shadow this time. This activity tells us that the shadows will be bigger if the object and source are away from the screen or wall on which they are formed. Shadows will be darker if the source of light is brighter. Let us do another activity. This activity tells us that the shadows are formed opposite to the source of light. Place the candle as shown. See where the shadow falls? Now bring the candle to the opposite side of the steel glass and see where the shadow falls. This time the shadow falls on the opposite wall as shown above. The length of a shadow depends on the position of the sun during the day. Observe your shadow on a bright sunny day at different times. In the morning and evening, your shadow will be longer as the sun is very far. But in the midday, your shadow will be the shortest as the sun is high and right above your head. A point source of light produces a completely dark shadow of an opaque object. A wide source of light produces a shadow with an inside dark and outside light shadow. The dark portion is known as umbra and the lighter portion is called the penumbra. Our earth has a companion revolving around it called the moon. It is a small heavenly body, only about one-fourth as big as the earth, and its gravity is one-sixth of that of the earth. The moon is our nearest neighbor in space. It is about 3,84,000 km away from us. As the moon moves round the earth, the gravitational force of the earth keeps the moon in its orbit. A smaller heavenly body that revolves around the planet is known as Satellite. The moon is the Earth's only natural satellite. The moon has no light of its own. Then, why does the moon shine? It acts as a giant mirror. The moon receives light from the sun and reflects it to the Earth. The surface of the moon is not even. It is made up of grey rocks and powdery rock dust. There are rough mountains and also a large number of round pits called craters. The craters are believed to be made by chunks of rock that smashed into the moon, like bullets. Such rocks are called meteoroids. When the position of moon changes, it appears to change its shape, 
the changing shapes of the moon as seen from the earth are called phases of the moon the different phases of the moon are new moon crescent moon half moon gibbous moon and full moon when the moon comes between the earth and the sun we cannot see the moon at all because the disk of moon illuminated by the sun is not facing the earth this is called new moon it is completely dark in the new moon night when we see only a small sunlit portion of the moon's surface it is called crescent moon when we see half disk of the moon it is called half moon when we see more than half of the moon it is called gibbous moon when we see complete moon it is called full moon when the size of the moon's lighted portion is increasing it is called waxing after full moon day the cycle becomes reverse and the size of the lighted portion starts decreasing again and appears as gibbous moon half moon crescent moon and a new moon respectively the decreasing size of the lighted portion of the moon is called waning eclipse is formed when the sunlight is blocked by one heavenly body from another these are of two types lunar eclipse solar eclipse a dark shadow slowly begins to cover the face of the moon when shadow creeps over the moon this is what happens during an eclipse of the moon it is called a lunar eclipse it takes place when the earth comes between the sun and the moon when this happens the earth casts shadow on the face of the moon lunar eclipse occurs only a full moon night when the earth's shadow covers the complete disk of the moon we cannot see the moon at all and it is called total lunar eclipse when the earth covers the moon partially then we have partial lunar eclipse lunar eclipse lasts for a short time for few minutes to few hours once the moon moves out of the shadow of the earth it starts receiving the sunlight and can be seen once again amazing fact moon goes around the earth at a speed of about 3683 kilometers per hour solar eclipse is formed when the moon comes between the sun and the earth the moon's shadow falls on the surface of the earth it occurs on a new moon day if the sun cannot be seen at all it is called a total solar eclipse if only a part of it is seen it is called a partial solar eclipse solar eclipse also lasts for a short time once the moon moves out from the light of the sun solar eclipse disappears and we can see the sun once again solar eclipse is seen only in certain parts of the earth the only place that comes under the shadow Lunar eclipse is more common than the solar eclipse. Man-made satellites are called artificial satellites. They are sent into the space and kept in a fixed orbit. On October 4, 1957, the world's first man-made satellite, Sputnik 1, was launched into the space by Russia. Sputnik means traveler in Russian language. It went round the earth at a height of 900 km. Satellites or spaceships are kept in an orbit in space with the help of a rocket called launching vehicle. The successful launching of Sputnik 1 created tremendous development in this field. Since then, hundreds of satellites have been launched. After about a month, Russia sent another satellite named Sputnik 2 with a dog named Laika to study the effects of being outer space on living organisms. Then the Americans launched their first satellite named Explorer 1 on January 31st, 1958. India also successfully launched its first satellite Aryabhatta in April 1975. India has launched many satellites till date. On April 12, 1961, Major Yuri Gagarin, a Russian, became the first man to go into space. The first woman to go into space was Valentina Tereshkova, also a Russian. The first Indian to go into space was Rakesh Sharma on April 3, 1984. Kalpana Chawla was the first Indian American astronaut and first Indian woman in space. She was born in Karnal, India. On a lunar mission, astronauts Neil Armstrong, 
Edwin Aldrin and Michael Collins from the United States went in Apollo 11th. Neil Armstrong was the first person to step on the moon on July 21st, 1969, followed by Edwin. The third astronaut, Michael Collins, remained in the spaceship encircling the moon and to keep in touch with the Earth. After their successful mission to the moon, they returned back to the Earth. They give us valuable information about the atmosphere surrounding the Earth and forecast the weather. They are useful in telecommunication system, such as sending messages from one country to another, television network, etc. Telephonic conversation, transfer of fax messages, etc. are also done by communication satellites. They are very helpful in advising the farmers, miners and fishermen. They provide information about the land use, health of crops, density of fish in the sea, etc. Do you know? A recent satellite launched by India. It was launched on 5th January 2014. GSAT-14 is the 23rd geostationary communication satellite of India. It was built by Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. Another satellite recently sent for the Mars mission, Mangalyaan, has been successfully put into its orbit. It already started sending images of the Mars. Let us summarize. A shadow is formed when an object is placed in the path of light. Shadow is always formed in a direction opposite to the direction of light. The object that revolves around a planet is known as a satellite. The Earth's natural satellite is the moon. Lunar eclipse is formed when the Earth comes between the sun and the moon. Solar eclipse is formed when the moon comes between the Earth and the sun. Artificial satellites are the satellites made by man.